Hi, I'm Rita with Everything Homemade and I just want to say thank you so much for purchasing tomato plants from us. In this video, I'm going to cover the crack and plant technique on how to plant your tomato plants in the garden and also in a pot. But first, before we get into that, make sure that you have hardened off your tomato plants. And there is a video right here. Click on it if you haven't done that. It is critical that you have hardened your tomato plants off. And in fact, any garden plant before you plant it in the garden needs to be hardened off if they were started inside. So if you don't know what that means in general, please watch that video. The link is also will be in the description box below. So without delay, let's crack and plant. So the very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to plant this like you would in the garden. So I'm actually in the garden right now. What I'm going to do is just loosen up the dirt. So if I was planting this in a row, I would just get the dirt worked here. I have lots of compost in my garden dirt. Now, if you don't definitely add some, add some good compost manure um, in this hole. And a couple of cups, like we're, don't overdo it. What I like to do is dig a hole first, dig a deeper hole, and then if I needed to, I would add in some compost um, or some veneer right in the hole, something like that. Just a nice handful right at the bottom. And then I cover it up with a little bit of garden dirt just like that that way the roots don't automatically touch the compost or manure so once you got your hole made you grab your tomato plant here um, I'm just gonna remove the popsicle stick with a label so you want to just grab your tomato plant and kind of test okay is that the right depth that I'm at and you can kind of see that it's gonna hit at this top leaf right here and that's good because tomato plants actually along the stem, all along their stem, you can they can actually push out new roots. So it's actually really important to bury this stem as much as you can because that creates a really strong tomato plant. You can see the thick stem, how sturdy it is. But if you bury it as much as you can, you're going to have a sturdier plant. And in this case, when I'm looking at this plant, what actually should be done, I'm just going to place it down here so I can get my gloves off. What should be done is actually to nip off this leaf. And that way you have the, all this stem area to bury and and it's going to end up looking like this, which is going to create a really strong tomato plant. These tomato plants are are young right now, but that's okay because they go into less shock when you transplant them younger like this and uh, and they really just start to grow so quickly after. So the nice thing about the crack and plant technique is that there's no popping this out of the, the pot. This is totally um, totally decomposable, which is so cool. So this is a turkey egg from our turkeys. And we just keep all the eggs that, that, that we use so there's no plastic, nothing like that to throw away. So again, let's test this. I'm going to come about right up to here, with it, which is just perfect. So what I'm going to do is kill that mosquito. What I'm going to do is go into my hand here. I'm going to stir it. I'm going to just uh, put, use one finger just to hold this plant. And I'm going to crack this egg. Just like that. It's going to move the roots around a little bit, but I'm going to crack it. And what's holding this egg a bit together is the membrane that's around the egg. But now you can see there's area for these roots to escape just by giving it a little crack, just like that. And there's lots of area for those roots to come out. Plus, this eggshell will actually feed the plant because tomato plants need good calcium. So it works both ways as a pot and and as a good uh, calcium um, supplement as well. And there's lots of areas for those roots plus the membrane once you have it in the soil will will um, uh, moisten and the roots will just go right through. 
So we get this little, get this dude in here, and then I'm just gonna put back on my gloves. And it just depends if you get a turkey egg or if you get a turkey egg or a duck egg when you purchase a tomato plant from us, they have a thicker membrane that holds it together. If you got a chicken egg, it'll actually just crack really good. So it just depends on what kind. So just push the dirt now around that tomato plant. Just like that. And you, and you bury that stem and take a look. So if there's a strong wind, you know, sometimes in spring after you plant your tomato plants, you get a strong wind and uh, they can break. This, this won't happen when they put them in nice and young like this, so healthy, just like that. And then you want to press it down. And what I like to do is make a little well. So I bring up the, the ridges here and that way, the water can get trapped around here when it naturally rains. And because this was a Roma tomato, I'm gonna to put a tomato cage in here. I put them in right away because I get busy. And if I don't do it right away, then it doesn't happen. Something like that. By the time it gets up to here, it'll have the tomato cage and then that's it. That's all you need to do. And water, and you are done. Now that the tomato plant is planted in the garden, you don't really need to worry about feeding your tomato plant right away. Let it grow up. Remember, we put a little bit of compost or manure at the bottom, and that's gonna feed that tomato plant until it starts to flower. Now, when it starts to flower, I like to be really, really savvy when it comes to fertilizing my tomato plants. Tomatoes are heavy feeders and and when you really think about it there's lots of waste from the kitchen that could feed your plants. For example when you boil peas or let's say broccoli or cauliflower that juice that a lot of people just strain out and put in the sink and discard cool it cool it down on the counter and water it over your tomato plants. If you're boiling eggs, use that cool down water and cover and water your tomato plants. If you, uh, if you are a cheese maker like myself, you have tons and tons of whey byproduct. Use that to water your tomato plants. So just think about the kitchen and what you're discarding down the drain. You can water not only your tomato plants, but your garden plants in general with it. So look around. You, you can also buy an all-purpose fertilizer if you would like. Follow the directions, use that. You can use Epsom salt and water. Follow the directions and use that as well. I'll have the directions for the Epsom salt and water in the description box below for you. You could also use more compost as well to, to top dress around your tomato plant. When it flowers, it will really need that boost of, it will really need that boost. So to set fruit really, really well. So definitely look at what you have. Check out the options, think outside the box a little bit and your plants will be very happy. So next I'm going to show you how to take your tomato plant and pot it in a pot. So what I have here is a two gallon pot. Now the variety that I have is a tumbler, a red tumbler and my tumblers and my red bush and my pendolina orange all are smaller tomato plants. They're only like two feet and the tumblers cascade so they only need a two gallon pot. Now if you were going to look at purchasing some Roma, some Siberians, um, some mountain princess in the future, some of my bigger tomatoes that plants that grow like four feet tall, then you want a five gallon bucket. But today I'm going to show you on a smaller bucket, use the same concept and transfer that to a larger one. So make sure that whatever you're using, you have drainage. Now I have three drainage holes because these are going to be potted outside and it's really important that they don't become waterlogged. So definitely um, have have some holes drilled in or if your container comes with it great so the very first thing that I like to do is grab some rocks 
I'm just going to use just some gravel here. And I, what I do is I make, it's about an inch in depth and that's going to help the water to drain really good at the bottom. So where I live in Northern Alberta, Canada, sometimes we get rain after, sometimes we get rainy day after rainy day and you don't want the water to get clogged and just sopping wet because then it could kill your tomato plants. So that's what I'm going to start with. Um, plus I am using my own soil, my homemade soil, so it's a little heavier um, than the store-bought stuff. So it definitely holds the moisture well, so having rocks like this at the bottom definitely helps. If you're using store-bought soil, just use some all-purpose potting soil with maybe two cups of manure mixed in with it um, and you should be good to go. So let's put some dirt in here. Get that little weed out. Don't want that. Like I said, we 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 make our homemade um, soil, so it's fairly rich already. So I'm not going to add anything more to it. But what I am going to do is just kind of make a well at the center here. And I'm going to grab my plant. I'm going to take the popsicle stick out, and I'm just going to see once again my depth here. Um, and in this case, when I look at this plant, I could take off this leaf, but it's fairly close to the top on this one. So I'm just going to bury it right to there and that'll be good. So I'm going to just kind <clears> of <throat> look at my depth. I'm actually going to raise it a little bit. I'm actually going to go right here and then back and then back fill it in. So again, what we want to do, crack this duck egg. This is a duck egg. So duck eggs have a stronger membrane. So I'm just going to crack. Just like that. Get the bottom there a bit. You see that? All done. Hold it there. Add some more dirt around it. I love this method. It's so simple and no waste. There you go, press it down. And if you would like, you can add a little bit of mulch on top of this, decorate it up a little bit, whatever the case, wherever you're putting your pots, um, make it fit your de decor. Um, you got it in there, now water it and you are all done. So the biggest thing is get that drainage, make sure you got drainage, get an all-purpose potting soil, give it a little manure in there, a couple of cups, crack your tomato plant, put it in, cover it and you are done and then finish it off with either decorative little rocks or maybe you want to have some colorful uh, mulch around it and then put it in um, a sunny location. And what you want to do is the same thing I talked about before. It's going to be fine like this. Once it gets much bigger and starts to flower out, that's when you want to start feeding your plant. Uh, maybe give it a little top dress of one cup of manure on top. You know, let that seep in or make some manure tea. Anything like that. Um, the plants will definitely soak up the nutrition. So now that you have your tomato plants planted in the garden or in a pot, it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor and I hope that you have a successful planting season. So thank you so much for watching. Happy planting and happy growing.